is your will, my master. Hey, what's up, Joe? A uh, quick demo video for you for your claw saber uh, by Jawa's Junkyard, and then you had sent this off to get it fully customized and weathered. Um, so it looks really cool. Uh, it's all done. Install the Prop EV2. You did provide the chassis for me that you got with the saber, but you told me that I could make my own, so that's what I did. Um, I made some improvements over what was on the previous chassis. Um, you've got CC sabers in here for your lit PCB. This is a one button setup, so your uh, tactile switch is right here. Um, how you want to get to the chassis is you're going to want to take the screw out. I don't have it in here right now, but that screw is going to be right here. Um, for the sake of this demo, I just left it out. I don't need it to demo the saber because the, the slip fit on this is, is pretty sturdy. But you'll take that out and then just pull this claw off just like that. Um, you'll see your speaker sticking out here. And you can just take it and you can pull your chassis right out. Uh, this has the Smuggler's Outpost Switch Pixel PCB set. So that female side uh, touches with that 14 pin PCB right there. Um, and that's held in with this scrub screw right here. So you don't ever want to loosen that guy up. Okay. All right. Help if I turn on the light. Sorry. So yeah, it's um, that screw right there. Don't loosen that. That's what's holding that piece in there. So there's a 3D printed piece on one side. It's holding your NeoPixel connector. And on the other side, it's holding that guy in there right there. Um, and then here's your chassis. Uh, it just has a little bit of broken uh, type design on it to match the weathering that was put on the Sabre. Uh, you got a removable battery set up here, so spring side over here, right? Uh, this does have the stock font package on it, but you'll find a copy of that config file that I use on the SD card. Um, it's, it's just a snap fit into the shelf. So when you go to put your stuff on it, you don't have to take the board all the way out. Just kind of pop it up like that, do what you need to do, and then snap it back down. Leave the backside inside the chassis. That way it, it remains tight. Um, what else? Oh, so you've got a 28 millimeter Smuggler's Outpost Elite speaker in here, but I put this Pixel PCB in front of it in this holder, uh, similar to what I use on uh, the 89 Sabres Fallen Order Saber that I do. So that goes in there and i wanted to uh, originally when we were talking about the saber i was going to make a clear resin chassis and light this guy up but what i didn't realize is there's a solid sleeve here that the chassis goes into so there's really nothing to light up here uh, the only thing to light up were the sound venting holes inside this pommel area now when this came to me and i got it all installed it sounded okay but those holes were so small that it was muffling the sound um, and then shine through was only coming through one of these holes because they were just so tiny. So I went through and I opened almost all of these up. The only one that I didn't open up was the one that has a scratch coming through it uh, that somebody else put in when they were weathering it. And you can kind of see that hole right there. I didn't want to ruin the aesthetics of that weathering. So I left that one hole alone, but you can see all the others I opened up. And also when I opened them up, um, I angled them back towards the saber, right? So when we light this up, you can actually see shine through through all these holes. Um, even though it's a stock font package, I went through and I put a orange smoky blade uh, blade style for the pixel accent. I put that on all the sound fonts. So you can keep that or you can work with something else if you want. I just wanted to show you, um, you know, what it would look like with that particular blade style. So we're going to put a battery in this guy. It's a nice tight snap fit in there. Um, you can put this chassis in there any way you want. I didn't give you swing on, but I gave you twist off. So you're actually going to have to hit the button to turn it on. But it's a nice fit. It slides right in there. And then when this is locked all the way in, which we'll do right now, I don't need to put the screw in, but you might. If you're going to swing this around, you'll slide this on. And when you line that hole up right there and you put that screw in, it locks everything down and that chassis is engaged with those pins. So we can come over here and hit activation. And then you can see 
most so that one hole I didn't open up. There's no shine through, obviously, but you got shine through on the rest, and then on the bottom as well. And you got twist off. It's on these ones as well. So same blade style on every font for now until you change it up is what you'll have on those holes. Uh, we'll throw a blade in here. This guy takes a one inch diameter NeoPixel blade. And then uh, this saber didn't come with any grub screws. So I just, I put an 832 right here for your blade retention. Good flash on flash. So the sound's coming out of there a lot better now. It actually sounds like a 28 millimeter speaker. Blade lock up. We'll do one more. Smooth fuzz. Blade lock up. like that and we'll go ahead and take the blade out and go over taking the battery out which is uh, super easy to do right we'll take that out again you'll come through and you'll take that bottom screw out right here you'll slide this tooth off the chassis will slide right out just like that and then from the positive side over here by the speaker um, you should be able to pop it out with your finger like that yeah and that is a uh, that's pretty much your claw saber. Uh, let me know if you got any questions. And um, if not, this guy will go out in the mail to you tomorrow morning. All right. Thanks.